when you try to link MailChimp to ClickFunnels, you'll notice an issue. An issue where that you cannot put a tag on MailChimp. Right? You can only send it to the audience or in certain autoresponders a list. And this makes it a bit difficult, especially when it's in free version. Even paid version, you only allow a limited amount of audiences. So this makes it difficult. So the tag in MailChimp is important, especially if you want to segregate your audience. But in ClickFunnels, they don't have an option to do that. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can do it with Zapier. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Ken and I help business owners to grow using digital marketing. And if you're interested in topics such as digital marketing and entrepreneurship and you have not subscribed to this channel, do consider subscribing to this channel, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And now before I join my computer again, just want to emphasize this is the problem with ClickFunnels and hopefully they fix that, fix it soon because not adding text makes it difficult especially when you're working with the lower tier of MailChimp account where you have limited audiences and you can only do things with text. But ClickFunnels don't have that but there is a turnaround with that which is to use Zapier and I've used Zapier for a lot of my soft customers as well to make these things work, right? And with that, let me join the computer so I can show you how you can just add tag with Zapier and, and yeah, it is Quite simple to do, right? Let's go. Well, let me show you a problem that I mentioned earlier with ClickFunnels. I have already integrated my MailChimp to my ClickFunnels account. So you have not do it. Uh, you can look at the video at the description box or uh, on top somewhere, right? So you can have a look and just, just see what does it mean by uh, integrating the MailChimp into ClickFunnels. So I've already integrated the, my MailChimp into my ClickFunnels account. So I just want that every time when people key in all this information, right? You will go to my MailChimp account, right? So uh, let's just see what's the, the issue that we have here, right? You can go to integration, okay, I select MailChimp. Then you see there's only two options, add to list and remove from list. Add to list and then there's only one list you can add, right? So it's send confirmation email or don't send confirmation email. Usually I prefer not to send confirmation email. So that is something that very difficult, especially for MailChimp. They call it audience or list. In the free version, you only allow one list. Even the paid version, the, the minimum one the, for essentials, also, they allow you only up to three audiences, which is three lists. So a lot of things you need to do with tagging. Where if you tag MailChimp, the contact into a certain tag, you will go to a certain automation. So for free version, it's definitely a bit more limited. Where you are only allow one email, you cannot do like a sequence. But the paid one can do a more sequence. Uh, but there's still three audiences. So a lot of things you need to do with tags. But in ClickFunnels, they do not allow to do it. Now let, let's compare it to Active Campaign. <laughs> So as you can see, at the campaign, there's a lot, at least at least with tag. So these things makes it a lot easier. So when you use ClickFunnels, I do suggest to use Active Campaign. But if you're using MailChimp, because MailChimp have a lot of integration with a lot of different software out there. Uh, so if you're still using MailChimp, so this is one way you can do it, right? So yep, uh, let's continue. Um, add to list and things like that. So I, I do not want to do this. So uh, let's, just, let's just keep it. Oh, I, I do not want to integrate, right? Remove integration. Why I do not want to integrate? Because I want to use another software to do the tagging. So the moment they come in, you'll be tagged uh, for a certain thing. I'll just show you the tag later, right? So uh, as mentioned earlier, because I'm using free version just to show this up, show this to you for my clients and I'm not using it. So for this for example, I have only one audience and I have one contact, which is me, myself and I. So you see there's no tags, nothing. No tags, right? So I want to make sure this one got tagged. So I'm gonna, you know, one by one try to do it out, try to do it and show it to you all. So the thing I suggest is use Zapier. You can find this, you can just type zapier.com or you can, I can just put in the link in the description box below. Just have a look. Uh, Zapier is very good to integrate to many, many things, right? So next, all you have to do is just uh, go to create Zap. So I'll just show you the Zapier pricing as well. So of course Zapier is not free, but if you use a free version, you're only allowed one Zap. So I think it's still okay because ClickFunnels, you can use ClickFunnels on the starter plan, right? So it's still all right. But for, for me myself, I'm using the starter. So you can slowly increase if you want uh, Zaps and things like that, right? So now let's go to uh, name my Zap. I just said test with, with ClickFunnels. So for the app event, you search for ClickFunnels. Then the trigger event is a uh, new contact activity. Choose account, go to the account, continue. Not all funnels, you want the funnel that you put. So this one is a test, test funnel. Then I want the first one, the opt-in, continue. That's a trigger. 
Alright, so we couldn't find a contact, so uh, we have to do a contact first. Let me just exit this. Download. Okay, um. Um. Okay, click sign up. Alright, so now you submitted your details, so it should appear in your ClickFunnels account. So you go to ClickFunnels account, um, just wait a while, then you go to contacts, and you can see my contact here, right? So now you just have to go to here, test trigger again, then they'll try to find out. Then the information is out here. Right, continue. So for here, I want MailChimp. I'll add other subscriber. Continue. Choose an account. Connect your account. So log into your account. Allow. It should appear here. There, it appears the MailChimp account, my account. Click continue. Choose the audience. Audience, which is also the list, right? Then uh, subscriber email, put your email, because your information are all on top. So you just have to click on it and it appear here. Double opt-in, no. We don't want double opt-in, update existing, if that's existing, update it. Replace group, no groups. So you have a look. So now I want to add tag. So I just custom. And I just put here test. Right? So the moment when I win, then you come become test. Right? So uh, all, all will go to a test testing. Then you see here, continue. So fill out accordingly for each information you want. Then you just have to click test and continue. Turn that on. Okay, now you can see here. So these are all the, the, the plans itself. Have a look here. You see here, right? Let's refresh the context. And you can see it's updated, right? With the word test. Can you see here? Previously it wasn't there, now it was here, right? Uh, let's just do it another sample. Let's just try again. The video background again. Download a free report. Fill out all your information. So sign up and get approval for your account. So the zap is on. Okay, then you just have to refresh. Refresh your audience. Then you have to see all your contacts and you get to see. And there you can see it's here, right? The tag test. So for they did not do first name, last name. So this one, oh yeah, because I didn't fill it in. But yeah, you have to fill it up here as well. I think I missed it out. So let's just put uh setup action. Yeah, I didn't put a name. <laughs> so yeah. So that's that's the problem, yeah. <laughs> Continue. So we just, just make sure all the information are filled up correctly so that you, you don't have any of this issue. Yeah, and, and that is how you can tag ClickFunnels contacts into your MailChimp account. So Zapier is pretty strong as well. You can even tag it into a Google Sheet after that, uh, send a separate email. So there's many things you can do with Zapier. So uh, I do highly recommend Zapier for any automation tools that you have. Uh, so for now, just for MailChimp tagging, I think this is good enough. And yeah, this tagging is really important, especially when you, when you want to do automation in, in MailChimp. So yeah, that's it. Thank you. Yep, that's it. That's how you can add tags to a MailChimp audience uh, using Zapier. So you can connect Zapier to ClickFunnels and then after that, you have to send the tag using Zapier to MailChimp. So far, I have not found any other ways to do it. I mean, there's a lot of software, integration software than Zapier, but I find Zapier is one of the most comprehensive one and it's the price is not that expensive. So you might consider using Zapier, right? And with that, I hope that this is helpful for you. If you're new to this channel and you're not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Do consider subscribing to this channel. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future video. And I talk a lot about digital marketing and entrepreneurship. So if you're interested, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Any question, put in the comment section below or hit me up on my social media platform and check in the description box below for all the information there. And with that, thank you very much and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.